Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Thank you for joining us for those of you who don't know us. I'm Leanne and this is Baby Bell. Today we're going to be sharing with you our three favourite teething lolly recipes. Baby Bell hasn't actually got any teeth yet, but we can see that they are getting ready to burst through. So with the hot weather that we're having at the moment and her teeth affecting her, we're finding that lollies are really good for her. We have these little lolly moulds here, which are by a company called NUK. I don't know how you pronounce that, but that's what they are. And then as you can see, tiny little moulds goes on them. The first lollies we're going to make are berries and yogurts. So we've got 50 grams of strawberries and 50 grams of raspberries and I've chopped the strawberries up just to make them easier. And then we've got 150 grams of full fat Greek style yogurt. We actually make ours in a smoothie maker because we don't have a just a normal blender and a hand blender does make quite a lot of mess. So we do make that in there. I've also got here some oat milk as well. Um, sometimes the mixture does go a bit thick. So that waters it down a little bit. And for sweetness, it's best to make sure that the fruit is on the riper side and it then has more natural sugars in it. can see put the lids on and then we've got four lollies ready to go in the freezer put them in the freezer for about four to eight hours these ones will go in overnight now because it's quite late so and these will be ready for her tomorrow so since we filmed the first part of this video, the temperatures dropped from about 28 degrees to about 20, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's quite chilly today. And also as well, yesterday, Baby Bell actually had her bottom two teeth come through. So that's yeah. interesting. And I think what we'll do is we'll do a little eight month update video and also maybe another teething video as well, just to say how we've been dealing with this teething period. So our next teething lolly is just a basic fruit one. Baby Bell really likes oranges at the moment. So I've chopped up some oranges and then I've got some lemon and lime as well, just to add lemon and lime in there to make some citrus fruit ones. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing again with the smoothie maker. this week as well and it might be really obvious to some but it wasn't obvious to me is don't try and take these apart straight from the freezer because they will break as you can see so yeah I've broken those already <laughs> is that funny <laughs> and we're just going to fill up our lolly molds and I said in the last one uh, to sort of fill up to two thirds, but it's more like four fifths, so fill up quite far to the top. So then, as you can see, got citrus lollies. Yeah, citrus lollies. And I've just discovered as well with these orange ones, you have to give them a really good blend, otherwise they get wedged in the uh, the tap out there and they go really, really mushy. So really give those ones a good blend before pouring the mixture in. 
And then our third and final recipe, which is also our favourite one as well, is a pina colada mocktail style ice lolly. So these ones are so nice that we're actually going to make some for us as well. And I should imagine that they'd be really nice if you put a little bit of rum in them too. Yeah. As I'm eggs on the floor eggs on the floor as i'm making quite a few of them i've got quite a lot of ingredients here so what i'll do is i'll just put a smaller ratio of ingredients in as well just in case you want to make smaller ones so for this again really simple it is just some bananas that i've chopped some coconut milk and some pineapple chunks in juice. I've gone with those one because I didn't really want to face chopping an entire pineapple up today and two because I wanted to use the juice as well. So let's get these ones blended. So then there's baby bells ones. Put the lolly sticks in and then these will go in the freezer again for around four to eight hours. It is also worth as well when you take them out of the freezer, just giving it a couple of minutes before you give them to your baby, just to prevent the lollies from sticking to their tongues or their faces or their lips. And then there's ours as well. Those are our favourite three teething lollies at the moment. Let us know if you try them and obviously if you can think of anything that will make them better or if you've got any favourite recipes that you knew, use. As usual, really, really hope that you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, if you did, don't forget to give it a, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment and hit that subscribe button. It makes us really happy and it lets YouTube know that the video is worth showing to other people. We'll see you next time. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye, everybody. Bye. I don't know what to do with my arms. <clears throat> don't know what to do with my arms. So for this, I'm losing my bananas. <laughs>